Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom, a walk through the book of Proverbs. We're walking slowly through Proverbs, letting the wisdom of God kind of grow out of the word and then transform our lives. And today, a very simple lesson, but challenging. Guard your heart. Now watch out what's happening on the inside of you. Proverbs puts it this way in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Above all else, more important than anything else, you know, above everything else, guard your heart. For everything you do flows from it. That's the whole passage we're going to look at today. Guard your heart because everything that comes out of you has its origins, begins somewhere, it begins inside of you. Now, in our culture, we talk about, you know, guard your heart. You know, I have love in my heart. Uh, there's bitterness in that person's heart. We see the heart as kind of the seat of our emotional world. Some cultures think of it as their stomach. Guard your stomach because everything else comes out of it. It gives different pictures in the English uh, language. But in other cultures, you know, guard your innards, what's on the inside of you. We say guard your heart. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. I want you just to kind of reflect on each of these questions. Is there joy in your heart? Because if there is, joy comes on the outside. Is, that, is joy coming out of you? Is there bitterness in your heart? If there is, you can try to keep it in there as much as you want. But everything you do is going to flow from what's in your heart. Bitterness will come flowing out. Is there peace in your inner person, in, your, in the inside of who you are? Because if there's peace on the inside of who you are, it'll show in your face. It'll come through in your words, in your actions. One more question. Is there judgment in my heart? Am I prone to judge others very quickly, very sharply? That may be on the inside. You think, oh, I'll just keep it in there. Uh, no way. It starts to flow out. You make comments to others. You make comments to the people you're judging. It shows through your eyes. And, and so above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from the inside of you, and eventually it comes out. Uh, I had a friend in first and second grade, friend's name was Chucky, and uh, Chucky's mom, I can't ever remember her smiling. I remember my mom smiling, I remember other friends' moms smiling and laughing. I never saw his mom smile. I don't think I ever saw her laugh. She was a good mom, she, she loved my friend Chucky, she provided, um, but I don't remember seeing joy or any sense of levity or laughter come out of her. It wasn't on the inside. It didn't come out on the outside. I hope and pray for you that you examine what's on the inside of you, in your heart, because out of your heart comes all the things you do, all the ways you act, all of your attitudes. Will you pray with me? Living God, we pray that you will search our hearts where there's goodness in our hearts, where there's joy, where there's things that honor you. Lord, may those things grow and expand and overflow out of us where there's bitterness, where there's judgment, where there's lots of anger. Lord, let us examine our hearts and really deal with those issues so that those things don't begin flowing out of us. Lord, teach us to guard our hearts, knowing how important it is because everything we do seems to flow out of who we are on the inside. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on you. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll hope to see you Sunday morning at 9 or 11 o'clock or online. If you're part of another church, God bless you as you go become part of the family of God wherever you live.